This is it, gang. Not sure where this damn guy wants me to go. Instructions were very clear. He <laughs> just giving me some hand signals. Now I gotta back up, get out of that way. As y'all can see from last night, when my video ended. Oh, now I gotta pull up a little bit. This guy about to unload me right now or not? I don't know. He trying to direct two trucks at the same time. Hey, all y'all guys that drive Conestego trailers, man, I want y'all to help me understand something. Help me understand. This guy right here was behind me. Well, he was actually, he was behind me, then another truck. So he was the third truck. When I went inside the office this morning, turned my paperwork in, the guy told me to go ahead and take the tarp. So he was like, go ahead and take the tarp off. Cause you got a little area that you gotta sit at. You got a little area that you sit at, right inside the gate. And you walk in the office and the guy was like, yo, go ahead and take your tarp. Go ahead and take the tarps off. So I'm like, all right. So this guy beside me right now, he got to back in the bay before I do because his appointment is earlier. But this what I want y'all Conestego drivers. I never understand that shit. I can see y'all sitting somewhere. Y'all be sitting in front of me, sitting somewhere. Y'all wait till y'all get right at the damn bay to open that damn thing up. Why the fuck, why do y'all do that? This guy ain't did nothing. I, I got all my straps off, except for two of them, just so I can move the truck around the yard. But I got all the other straps off. This dude ain't did nothing. He ain't took, he ain't, that mother, he ain't did nothing. He ain't unsecured nothing. So now he been over there working for about 20 minutes. Y'all see him over there. He should have, by the time he pulled in the gate, he should have been ready to back in. Now he's leaving me sitting here waiting on him. I swear, boy, if it ain't one thing, it's another.
46 minute slowdown. I'm on the 495 bypass. Fairfax, Virginia. Headed to Hagersburg, Maryland to a Lowe's uh, distribution center. 745 drop off. After I got empty today, I was in I was in Richmond dropping that uh, steel off. I had I did headed to the terminal in Emporia, about 60 miles. Picked up a preloaded trailer, a lumber, and uh, headed to Hagerstown. I got 66 miles right now. I thought I would be there by seven o'clock, but traffic got other plans for me. Yeah, this is tough. I'm six miles from uh, 495, 270 split. I'm heading on 270. If I can make it up there. The Slow down, it's supposed to be before, I think it was at mile marker 47. I think that's where it was at. It's a, it's a crash. That's what's going on. I checked it on Google Maps. I haven't saw it yet. It was a 40, it, when that first started, it was a 46 minute slowdown. Now it's down to 25 minutes. So, I'm almost there. Traffic right here, boy. It's traffic for you. Hey, 495 ain't always that bad, though, man. Sometimes you come through here, go straight through. Sometimes you hit it at a bad time, like right now. Oh well, it is what it is. We're gonna keep the shiny side up. We're gonna keep trucking. I know by the time I get to Hagerstown, that damn pilot gonna be full. It's gonna be packed like hell. So I'm, I'm going to the pilot. I might have to make a spot. I could park at, I can't park at the distribution center. But it's a Lowe's right down the road from it. I could park there, but I'd rather park at the at the pilot just so I can wake up in the morning and get some coffee. I ain't got no coffee maker in my truck. I ain't like some of y'all big time truckers. They got an inverter and all that. I ain't got that. I gotta settle for the truck stop coffee. It's 40, 43 degrees right now. So ain't no telling how cold it is in Maryland. It'll probably get down to the 20s tonight. Like this morning when I was in, when I woke up in Richmond, it was like 28. Yeah, so I need that coffee. You see that car just swerve in front of me? Two up. That's so why I gotta keep you following a distance. Leave yourself out. Y'all know I love talking about the Smith system. Since I became an expert, since I ran past that weight station. It's not weight, it's way. Weight station, no T. Everybody always put the T on it. It's a weight. Next time you ride by one, look at it. You see what it says. I guarantee it says weight. It doesn't say weight, it says weight. Smith system expert. Look like the traffic starting to pick up a little bit. We're going a little faster. Yeah, gotta gotta watch out for these cars, man. This tight, these little traffic jams like this, gotta watch out for them, cause you never know who try to squeeze in front of you. I got one coming up on me on my left right now. Look like he wanted to squeeze, but he couldn't get in there. Yeah, we ain't in no rush. We're just cruising right on along through this traffic jam. Look at that one. So I gotta take it easy. Let's float a little bit. I ain't talking about floating gears either. For all y'all manual lovers. Hey, if I was in a manual right now, I have a I have a pretty big gap in front of me. I'd just be creeping along probably by that fourth gear. But for all y'all guys. Honestly, dope. You asked me this question on Snapchat. 
about why guys prefer 10 speeds over automatics. And I told him I'd rather have an automatic. Mainly for situations like this right here. And when you're in traffic, ain't nothing like an automatic, man. Ain't nothing like it. Gas and brake, all you got to worry about. Then y'all guys talking about, oh, if you know how to float, you ain't got to worry about it. Man, I know how to float. But you still got to, it's still a hassle. Like right now, at the speed I'm at right now, about 15 miles, I probably would have been in seven gear. Right now, slowing down, I would have had to break right back down to probably about third just to get up this little hill. Y'all hear my engine shifting? And it's in third right now. That's not, this is automatic. But if you've been in the manual, the best thing to do is just leave yourself a big gap and just don't even speed up. Just, just try to keep yourself at a consistent speed and just creep along. But it's automatic, ain't gotta worry about that. I just gas and brake, let the engine do the work. But let me tell y'all guys something to me. No matter what y'all think, how, how bad, how good you say, oh, I can, I can shift like a, I can shift that thing like butter. Hey, no matter how good you, you think you is, hey, you ain't, you ain't smarter than a computer. I tell you that. You ain't shifting better than this automatic. I might have ruffled a few feathers with that with these statements. Hey, just my opinion. But for you guys who like to take it easy, don't get too stressed out about trucking. I, I, I would recommend the automatic. So y'all can just cruise along, lay back like your boy. Still got six miles to go. Shaking my head. show y'all the load I picked up yesterday. It was a preload. Got it at the yard. Look what we got here. TMC. Money crew. Yeah, preload the trailer. Got it at the yard yesterday. One blue tarp, one black tarp. Second time I've been to this place. I made a video of this place when I was at Melton. I'm gonna see if I can find which one it was. Well, the only thing I gotta do right now is get the tarps off. Fold them up. Nice and neat. Watch out for this TMC. I tell y'all, man, TMC is my good luck charm. Because everywhere I go, a TMC pulls up right beside me. Money crew. took me home last week. Now I got it again. Let me call in and check in real quick. Oh, see PNS with the Volvo. Yes, ma'am, checking in.
zero 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 five one one six seven oh nine. Ma'am? Oh, trailer number? Trailer number, sir. Uh, uh, 141413. Telephone number? 910-286-091. That's the number that you're calling for, ladies. You don't mind. It's easier for me to call back. Okay. 910-797-9709. And you're on the scale? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll give you a call shortly. You got my scale, wait. I, I don't even hear fucking on the street, and I'll give you a call. Ten, folks. Hello? 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 Let's go find somewhere to park. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six. Y'all want to know what the hell I'm counting? I'm trying to figure out how many straps I need to use on this other side.
hurry up. That rain starting to pick up now. Tell y'all what, it's the most PNS. Hey, it's more PNS trucks here than I seen at the damn terminal yesterday. It's at least about about ten out here. I'm gone. Flatbed game.